Hey fellas, once again it's time for another her episode vlog on the seventh season of Star Wars The Clone Wars on the eighth episode together again and the last one with Ahsoka uh, dealing with uh, the Martez sisters Rafa and Trace who I'll admit how grown on me, me ever since, since this part started. I mean, I especially wasn't wanting to make sure of Rafa initially, but uh, yeah, I had to say, hey, that, hey, that once the secret is out, as well as the fact that she left the order, or as of the events of season five, I've is. Definitely one of the um, good moments of this episode, and definitely shows how strong the continuity is, given how it all fleshes out with the of the last one for of this course for season Mandalore, which is going to be the third and final arc of this season and the series. Anyways, also fleshes out more of what was what's going on with these casts as in Rebels as well as Mandalorian itself. Got some more stickers on my wall and my door in case you haven't noticed there. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, and also we really like how how I normally I would have done this earlier but I had to go around errand. Errand I mean trying to do that as little as possible in the circumstances, but just an aside there how to try and get more of the spice that apparently some of the ones that the sisters tried double deal were the same race as the infamous Ben Quaternero's and how he didn't even get past the line with his pod rental well, and their senior was a Trandoshan the same race as Boss quite complaining I mean with a lot more and Battlefront 2 especially given how the original Hatch of the Tradum passed away earlier but and I think it was actually a nice little way of hey of sending them all before or they parted ways given how they deliberately just so you know her feelings between them um, and that she left her school back there in case she ever wanted it back at their shop I mean and definitely how uh, apparently this Latest cast Mandalorians has is no longer with Death Watch, going how they've announced that affiliation. And I really help, like how they use Darth Maul in this one. Um, given I have not read had the had the this comic with his son Dathomir, but I'll have to look into it. Whether or not uh, this will flesh out more or in other graphic novels, games, or the Chloe's characters in the second season of Mandalorian they're working on. I don't know. See. And I definitely and the animation, just comparing this to the previous revival they did had had the Lost Missions, or heck, even just going back with me binging the archives again of season one, early seasons. It just shows how far this tech has come in a short time, all things considered. And so, I also did manage to get some of well, my assignments was we completed online since the next model is not going to open up, up until hell, next week. So, got a little bit more time given how I just finished my Evan Children Complete review. I'm glad that the remake of Final Fantasy VII has been well received so far. And I definitely am going to be giving priority towards my Life of Brian review for Monday. And as I stated, it's going to be a brief slowdown this month. Uh, as I try to, once again, reconfigure stuff I had planned before. Not only just for the new guidelines, but also to, you know, just to take my mind off this outbreak as well. So... Anyway, that's all I got to say for now. Tell me what you thought of this episode. If you've seen in the comments, I'll see you next time as Siege of Mandalore begins. Mm -hmm.